Hello, welcome to another recap video. This movie starts from the present, which is the year 2021 in that time. Wen Hang is a doctor who believes that her life isn't interesting at all and has lost its charm. One day, they get together with her brother and his fiance who want to get married soon. Her brother has invited her friend, who has come back from the United States. His name is Yanshi. As soon as Hung sees him, she recognizes him and becomes uncomfortable. He sits next to her by pretending that everything is normal. They knew each other in the past, which has created this tense atmosphere. Hung can't tolerate sitting there and pretending, so she apologizes and leaves. Her friend tells Hang's brother that in college years, this boy hurt Hang's feelings and left her. So why did he invite him again and made her feel uncomfortable? Yanshi finds out the hospital that she's working in and visits her while she's there. He's trying to talk to her and explain to her something, but she doesn't want to hear him and says that everything is over. She then rushes outside of the room and introduces her boyfriend, who is also a doctor there. When Yanchi sees him, he leaves without saying anything else. After this scene, the past is shown, which is the year 2011. Heng was lost when she was little, so a family adopted her and raised her instead. Her biological parents finally found her after so many years and brought her back home. However, her family had also adopted another girl to raise, Xiaowu. She got jealous of Hung and tried to take her life. Everyone panicked as the family loved Xiaowu. Hung started to feel uncomfortable. Her brother suggested her parents to let Hung stay at his friend's house, whose parents are in the United States, and he's alone. His friend's house was next to their house. They agreed. She packed her stuff and moved to this new house to stay there. She is a very quiet person who doesn't complain about anything, so whatever they told her to do, she did it by fully trusting them. She didn't even tell them to care about her more than Xiaowu as she's their real daughter. At night when she was asleep, someone came in the house, and she hit him on his head. In turned out, that person was Yanshi, who is Hung's brother's friend. He also went to the United States to visit his parents and just came back. After telling him about the matter, he let her stay at his house on the first floor, and he'll always be on the second floor to keep their privacy. The next day, Heng noticed that Yanshi is in her class. During their break, Yanshi was testing his camera and suddenly focused on Heng and became interested in just looking at her as she was collecting the balls from the ground. However, suddenly a girl hit her head with a ball. She was Xiaowu's friend, who threatened her to not steal her identity as she doesn't have any place in that family. Yanshi came and hit that girl's head with the ball and told her to not mess with Heng again, or else he will deal with her. After that, Hung's trust in him increased, and she kept following him in school and on their way home as she felt protected by his side. Yanshi knew that she kept being by his side, but he wasn't bothered by this. She decided to cook something delicious for him to eat as he wasn't a good cook. He came downstairs and smelled something good. Heng told him to give it a try, and he really enjoyed the taste of it. They slowly became closer, and her ice slowly melted in front of him. Things got a little chaotic when Heng's brother found out that her sister Xiaowu is hanging out with bad boys. He went to take her back to home. However, she refused to go with him, and a fight started between him and the boys. Yanshi and Hung came to help them. All of them managed to escape from them thanks to Hang's smart efforts. Yanshi grabbed her hand, and they started running together as he's faster runner than her. On their way back, Hung saw an abandoned puppy in the box. Her brother said that he can't take it home as their mother is allergic to it. She then asked Yanshi to let her keep the puppy as it's very cute. He first refused, but then said that she can keep it as long as it doesn't go into his room. Hung became very happy. She bathed the puppy and was playing with her when suddenly Yanshi grabbed her hand and started to put ointment on her wound as she got hurt earlier. He made her heart flutter as he cared about her a lot. Hung said that her parents told her that she can come back to their house now. This news made him sad as he'd become used to her staying with him and not being alone. When her brother came to pick her up, he suddenly made an excuse by saying, who will take care of the puppy and he will just put it outside. Hung quickly said that she wants to keep staying here to take care of it. This made him very happy. In the present, Hang sees that Yanshi has moved to the unit besides her, so he will see her more frequently. He's very happy to see her and wants to talk to her, but her boyfriend comes again and interrupts their conversation. 
He then starts to remember the past when he saw that Heng was interested in the plants at his house and kept taking care of them. So, one day, he took her upstairs to the room where they had many plants. He told her that from now on, she can stay at this room instead as she loves the plants. This made her very happy. He put the spare keys at the top of the door and told her about it, which he usually didn't tell anyone about it. One day, they had a parental meeting with their homeroom teacher. Hang's mother went to school for both of her daughters as they were in the same class. Hang excitedly took her mother into the classroom and showed her where she sits. However, her mother preferred to sit at Xiaowu's sit so she wouldn't get sad. Yanshi saw how much she got sad, so he went inside and sat at her sit, saying that he's her brother who's joining the meeting for her. This made her very happy that someone is on her side. One day, Xiaowu called Heng's brother and told him that Heng told her to go to amusement park and she will join her later, but she never showed up and she's still waiting for her. Her brother then got angry at Heng by saying that she shouldn't get revenge like this. He rushed to Xiaowu and told her that he considers her as his real sister and all of their family members love her and she's irreplaceable. Unfortunately, Hung heard their conversation and was very hurt by their words. She said that she didn't call her at all. Yanshi ensured her that he believes her and covered her ears. He then took her home. When she arrived back home, she started packing her stuff to go back to her adoptive parents' house. Yanshi stopped her and told her that she shouldn't just let go of everything and leave. Hung confessed how she always wanted to find her real family, but they didn't seem to need her at all. Suddenly, he said that even if no wants you, then I want you and I need you. This made her smile and to forget about what happened earlier. He suggested to visit her adoptive parents, but come back home after staying there for a few days. She introduced him to her family parents and her little brother. Her parents asked her if she's happy with her new family, and she just answered yes. They said that they feel good now that her new family can support her financially to go to college, as they always had the fear to be not able to afford the money for it. She held her tears from falling and showed that everything was fine with her. It was Hang's birthday. Yanshi went outside with Hang's little brother to buy a birthday cake for her. However, she was outside with her parents and came back late where her brother had eaten half of the cake. She got very surprised and happy that he remembered her birthday and bought a cake for her because they usually didn't celebrate her birthday. Yanshi wanted to bring light to her life and told her that his parents tend to fight all the time, so he always felt lonely. But her appearance in his life changed everything for him as he no longer felt lonely. Together, they enjoyed their short trip and had a lot of fun. Yanshi explained everything to Heng's brother, and he understood about how Xiaowu lied to him. He made her to apologize to Heng. She apologized, and Heng quickly forgave her because she wanted to become close to them. Yanshi helped her to become closer to her family members. Two years passed, and it was the year 2013. She continued to live at his house, and it was the college entrance exam time. He bought a gift for her, which was a necklace with the number of his house. This was to represent home and the place that they first met. They started dating where they went to movies together and held hands, went to the beach with their dog, and had a lot of fun with each other while playing around near the ocean. Both of them were lonely before meeting each other, but after the day that she hit his head and they met, they were never alone as she stayed at his house for two years, and he always supported her mentally to feel comfortable with him. He again took pictures of her with different poses. She was walking, then he suddenly appeared behind her and said that he wants to keep getting closer to her and always be with her. She became shy and tried to go further, but he kept getting closer to her. He then said that she should always live with him and they can get married near the ocean, which will be very romantic. They were ready to spend the rest of their life together. Hung also confessed her feelings to him and said that he truly changed her life and made her feel comfortable in this city and in her new family. He got closer to her and they shared a romantic moment of having their first kiss. Their relationship started from strangers to friends and then to lovers. This was their first romantic confession and facing their true feelings. When they were at home, they suddenly received a phone call. They always had the habit of racing to get to the phone. Yanshi got to the phone faster and answered. It was from his friend. He suddenly said that I will get a ticket and come there quickly. After hanging up the phone, 
He told Hang that he needs to go to the United States to take care of something, but he will come back quickly. Hung said that she will wait for him at this house. However, they didn't know that their separation would last a long time, despite what they thought it would. She kept checking the phone and answered quickly to all the calls, but she received no calls from him for the first few weeks. This made her very worried that something happened to him. Hung decided to pack her stuff and go to the United States, but her brother and his friend stopped her by telling her that he called them and said that he won't come back, so don't wait for him. This totally devastated her, as she didn't expect him to abandon her and leave without notice. After a few months, she received a phone call from Yanshi. He said that he doesn't have intention of coming back and didn't say anything else. It hurt even more to hear all this from him. She got enrolled into a university and moved to a dorm, which was her first step of getting away from his house. She went to the places that she went before with Yanshi, such as movies and going to the beach. All the memories became painful for her as he was not with her anymore. She couldn't believe that the person who was with her during those two years and supported her decided to abandon her in a cruel way. In the present, she's at a bar drinking. As she's drunk, Yanshi also goes there. She gets close to him and asks him why he left her and why he's back after eight years of separation. She starts crying while saying these words. She shows all her anger and frustration towards him because she loved her in all those years and couldn't forget about him. After yelling at him and crying out loud, she leaves. She keeps crying in the car, and he is at the bar drinking as he couldn't talk to her and explain to her. Again, the past is shown, which was the year 2017 during her college graduation. He promised her before that he would come to her graduation and they would see pink snow together. While she was sitting, she suddenly saw pink snow falling from above. She remembered his words and thought that he might be there. He ran to the roof, but saw that there are other people creating artificial pink snow. She was devastated and threw away her necklace. In the present, she can't forget about Yanshi and their encounter recently. Her boyfriend joins her, and he knows about Yanshi and their past together. He tells her that she shouldn't ignore her feelings and he'll let her go as he knows that she doesn't have any feelings for him. Hang doesn't stop him as she still has feelings for Yanshi. One day, she sees that Yanshi's sink is leaking, but he isn't home. She tries to get the key from the top of the door as he had this habit before. She also enters inside his home and suddenly sees all her pictures in his room, which includes her graduation photos. She can't believe of what she's seeing. The last thing that she sees is the necklace that she threw away on her graduation day. She goes to her brother and asks him if he knows anything about Yanshi and what happened in those years. He starts telling her the truth. Yanshi went to the United States and saw that his father got divorced from her mother, which made her become mentally instable. He wanted to be by his mother's side. However, after a few days, she threw herself down from the balcony and passed away right in front of his eyes. This became a traumatic incident for him and affected his mental health. They hospitalized him at a mental hospital as he was suffering a lot. This was the time that Heng was waiting for his call back at home. After staying at the hospital for a few months, his conditions were kind of normalized, so he decided to contact Heng and tell her personally to not wait for him so she could move on with her life. This was devastating for him, and after the call, he couldn't stop crying as he knew he just broke his loved one's heart. However, he did this for her. The present is shown again where Heng calls him to meet her. He rushes to her and gets to know that she has found out about everything. She asks him why he didn't share his pain with her as she would have understood his situation and would have helped him. He then tries to comfort her by hugging her tightly. She says that he should have known that life without him would be miserable for her and it was actually very sad for her without him in her life. Yanshi apologizes for his actions and asks her to stay with him, as all those years without her were the harshest times of his life. As they are walking together, Heng asks him about the photos and her necklace that he had. He starts telling her what happened. He actually celebrated her birthday every year without forgetting it by putting a cake in front of him and blowing the candles. He went to her graduation and took photos of her. He also prepared the artificial pink snow show as he promised her before. By following her that day, he saw her throwing away her necklace, so he took it. After his explanation, they reunite and want to be together now, as both of them have feelings for each other.
Everyone gathers at Heng's parents' house as they are preparing for their son's wedding. Yanshi is there too. He's happy to be back with his loved one, and they are cooking together. He's preparing a meal and wants to take it to the table, but he suddenly loses control and faints. All of them rush to him and take him to the hospital. The doctor tells Heng that her boyfriend has cancer, which he has only few months left. Heng can't hold back her tears, as she can't believe that reuniting with him after so many years will become a permanent separation this time. She goes to his room, and he realizes that something is wrong with him. Instead of getting sad for himself, he again thinks about Heng and tries to comfort her. He wants to spend his last days with her. He shows her all the photos he took from her since they met in the year 2011. He has kept all of them, and these have been his source of power throughout these years. Hung's brother's fiancé is trying her wedding dress, so Hang also decides to try one. She again becomes emotional as she doesn't know if she'll ever get to wear it in the future. All of them gather around. When Hang is not there, Yanshi tells Hung's brother that he wants to invest all his money in his company under Hang's name, so she'll be financially supported in the future. He also asks everyone to spend her birthday with her and not forget it even for a year. He turns around and watches her and starts crying. Yanshi wants her to always have many individuals around her, so when he's gone, she won't be devastated one more time. It is hurtful for him to talk about the times that he won't be in this world anymore, but he wants to tell his friends these words in order to secure a better future for his girlfriend. They spend a great time with each other, like the way they did in the past at the beach. The wedding day arrives. Everyone is ready, and they're waiting for the bride to come down the stairs. However, when the bride is coming down, they get to see that the she is actually Hang. She's wearing a wedding dress and walking towards Yanshi. He gets very surprised. She approaches him and asks him if he agrees to be her husband and will take her as his wife. His eyes are filled with tears, and he says yes. She prepared all this as she wants to be with him during his last days, so they won't regret anything later. She regrets for spending all those years without him, and now she doesn't want to make that mistake again. They share a beautiful kiss where everyone starts celebrating with them. The movie ends with her imagination scenes. She imagines a perfect life with him where he would have been with her during her college years. She imagined how on her graduation day, she would actually see him sitting there and taking photos of her, and they'd go outside and enjoy the pink snow together. She also imagines their wedding day to be a happy one, and them going to their house with the same number 0968. They'd eventually have a child, and would have taken a family photo with their child and their dog at his same old house, where the key is still at the top of the door. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for upcoming recap videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Bye everyone.